What's up? I'm Tyler. This is Zach. This is Ben. Today we're reviewing Deep Blue from Parkway Drive. It's the third album from them that was released on Epitaph Records June 25th, 2010. It peaked on the number 39 on the Billboard 200. The recording of this album was done through March through April, and it was done in Byron Bay, Australia, from where I guess that's their hometown. And the producer on this album was Joe Boresi, I think, I hope I said that right. Yeah. The number one song on their album was Sleepwalker. It was released on their MySpace before the actual album came out. Released on May 18th. Uh, like I said, it was the number one song on their album. Alright, now on our real opinions on this album. I thought the musicianship was good. I thought the guitar work, it was simple. But, you know, they had the melody, melodies, leads, and all the choruses and stuff. They had it stuck in your head. All the riffs and all that. The songwriting was pretty good. The production on the sound was actually pretty good too. Yeah, you could hear everything pretty clearly. The bass you can hear it like louder than most albums nowadays. So I think that was pretty cool. Guitars very clear. The vocals and the drums they aren't louder than the music itself. So. Second Zach's opinion on that one, I like the guitars, so this was pretty catchy. I like the openings too. Uh, Sleepwalker was obviously the number one song on the album. And the opening was back and back. Um, pretty much every song had a half decent opening on all of them. Uh, they really showed off their vocalist in this album. Um, he had a pretty cool solo at the beginning of one of the songs. Um, I thought the drums were alright, I didn't really notice them like I did on the other albums. Um, Everything was real well defined. Uh, I would definitely recommend the album. I liked it. I would give it a thumbs up for sure. And it's definitely the number one album of 2010. Alright, so uh, I'm going to pretty much agree with these two fellows. The guitars, they were like really heavy with the drums mixed in. Drums were really like, locked in good. They were. The whole album was like really better produced. The vocals they were just shy than the other albums. The guitars they were like better, really clean. So I'm going to recommend this. I don't think it's the best album in 2010 though, but I think it's a good one. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is Tyler, Ben, and Mizag. Vocal solo? They did. <laughs> did they not? Yeah, but yeah. I love the vocal solo. <laughs> Sorry, this is so hard when you fuck. I think. No! I'm <laughs> fucking sick, man.